Hello guys, how's it going? It's E2A here. Welcome to a new video. Today I'm bringing you the top 5 centre-backs on FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. Uh, sorry for the lack of uploads recently. I was on holiday in France and now I'm back in England and uh, I've got a new PC. So hopefully my uh, my videos are going to be better quality. I'll be able to put out more as well. I got my Elgato today which is really cool. And also I've ordered a microphone. This is actually recorded with my phone so sorry for the quality uh, of... Um, of this so so yeah get let's get on uh, into the video and starting off at number five it's Vincent Company he's 86 rated and plays for Man City in the BPL and he's Belgian he's got the traits of dives into tackles injury prone and leadership uh, personally dives into tackles isn't the best of traits because um, they sort of just commit uh, sort of with one tackle and then are out of the game for for centre backs with that sort of work rate, so I think Chiellini has got that too. I think uh, Company's the only one in this top five with that work rate, would not with that trait, sorry, and that's why um, he's not higher up because because uh, of that mainly, because uh, when he does get into the tackle, if he misses it, then he's sort of out of the game, which is uh, really annoying. Uh, work rate's medium medium, which is pretty good. Average price twelve k. That's uh, on the Xbox three hundred and sixty market at the moment. So uh, yeah, that's not too expensive uh, for what you're getting. Ninety standing tackle, seventy seven sprint speed, eighty five sliding tackle, eighty three jumping, eighty eight strength, seventy five long passing, eighty four heading accuracy, seventy four ball control, um, eighty short passing, eighty seven interceptions, eighty five marking, eighty four reactions. Very good stats there. Really good tackling. He's very strong. He's good at heading. He's six foot three, so he's never really gonna never really gonna concede any goals from corners when you've got him at centre back. Uh, very strong, good on the ball with good ball control and passing. So he's not just gonna lose the ball as soon as he's got the ball. He will then uh, be able to pass upfield, and you'll be able to um, start your attack from the back. Uh, so also uh, pretty pretty quick, um, good interceptions and marking. So uh, good for cutting passing lanes, and yeah, just a very good player. But uh, sadly, the dives into tackles trait um, means he's lower down on the list. So on to the next player, and it is Sergio Ramos. He's got the traits of leadership and power header. High medium work rate, so that's the reason that this guy isn't higher up. He's often out of position. When he is in position, he plays very, very well. But um, when you uh, save from a corner, he stays up, and then uh, well, your, team, the, your opponent can counter-attack with uh, not many players uh, in your defence for you when you've got Sergio Ramos. Average price, 75k, very expensive. Uh, for for a non-informed player and the most expensive player in this top five, uh, but I'd say he's worth it. He's a very good defender. Ninety sliding tackle, seventy nine sprint speed, eighty nine standing tackle, seventy nine acceleration, ninety one jumping, seventy six short passing, eighty three ball control, seventy long passing, eighty six heading accuracy, eighty seven interceptions, eighty strength, eighty three aggression, eighty five marking. Again, very uh, very good defending stats there with the the sliding and standing tackle uh, around ninety. Very quick as well around 80 pace, good on the ball, 91 jumping, 86 heading accuracy, very very good in the air, uh, and definitely um, yeah, very complete defender and a very good defender on FIFA. On to number 3 is Thiago Silva, the joint highest rated defender on the game with Sergio Ramos. Uh, he's got the traits of leadership, long pass and uh, Put leadership twice there, sorry, and um, work rate's medium high, which is perfect for a defender. Average price 15k, uh, definitely worth it for what you're getting. He has got the um, he's got 91 standing tackle, 75 acceleration, 89 sliding tackle, uh, 75 short passing, 81 long passing, 79 ball control, uh, 90 marking. 71 long shots, 91 interceptions, 90 jumping, 81 heading accuracy, 80 sprint speed, 81 strength. Very good stats there for the defending. Um, 91 standing tackle on just a normal card. That is sick. I've not used, uh, I think quite a lot of the players in this top five have like team of the years and stuff. Um, Ramos and Thiago Silva both have team of the years, so they're probably, if you have to, the, them two together, you probably never really can see any goals. Uh, very good on the ball. He's also got pretty good long shots, and uh, I've not not put some of the stats in, but he's also got all right free kicks and uh, all right um, shooting as well. Um, very good marking, so he's never really going to be out of position, and those work rates mean he'll always be in position too. Really good jumping and heading, so he's always going to win new headers, and uh, very good interceptions too, so he'll be able to cut those passing lanes. On to the next player, and it is Lauren Koscielny. A bit of a surprise here. He only costs. 
2k, he's only 82 rated, um, power header um, trait, he's got medium high work rates which is perfect, average price only 2k which is very very good for what you're getting, uh, 83 sprint speed, 76 short passing, 80 acceleration, 73 strength, 88 jumping, 84 sliding tackle, uh, 86 standing tackle, 84 interceptions, 83 marking, 83 heading accuracy, 88 aggression. So very, very quick player there, as you can see, a really good sprint speed, really good acceleration. Not the strongest, but he's got really high aggression, which sort of uh, makes up for that. Uh, really good marking and interceptions as well. So uh, along with that pace, very good uh, if you've got a stronger defender like Company, sort of running forwards uh, by... Um, using the sort of second player defending, he can run forwards and then you can cut the passing lanes with Koscielny. Uh, that's what I actually do in uh, most of my uh, BPL teams, I have Koscielny and company and I do that and uh, it's a very good partnership. Also got really good tackling, um, I've played over 200 games with uh, his um, non-upgraded card and his upgraded card and they're both very very good players, I definitely recommend you go and pick him up for just 2k, uh, in my opinion he's better than players like Sergio Ramos who cost uh, a lot more. On to the number one spot and is Jerome Boateng. This is his upgraded card, but he's also had a man of the match and uh, a second in form, which was, uh, I think that was in last week's team of the week. And also, uh, he'll probably get a team of the season, which will be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, he's got long passer trait, medium, medium work rates, um, average price 17k. I don't know what his non upgraded card is, I think it's about 10k. Uh, he has got 87 standing tackle, 70 acceleration, 85 sliding tackle, 76 long passing, 87 sprint speed, which is a, that's really, really good for a defender. That's on the same level as players like Anua. Uh, he's not got the best of acceleration, but a uh, very high sprint speed does mean that when he does uh, get going, it will take a while for him to get to his top speed. Uh, but say when you're having to track back uh, from a corner or something, and uh, the other team's counter-attacking, he'll always get back and... Um, very, very good player for those sort of situations. Decent jumping, very, very strong. Uh, good short passing, good interceptions. Really good on the ball, so um, yeah, good passing. So uh, like all the players really in this uh, top five, once uh, they do get the ball, they will be able to uh, build from the back and pass it up uh, to your strikers and hopefully you'll be able to score goals uh, from, from doing that. Uh, good aggression, good marking, good heading. Uh, good reactions, so uh, again he'll be able to to cut the passing lanes, uh, good inceptions to uh, be able to just track back and um, if you use sort of a bigger, bulkier player, maybe like um, Hummels, he runs forward and sort of uh, pressures the the, def uh, the the striker, sorry, and then uh, Boateng sort of um, can uh, cut the passing lanes. I could actually do a tutorial on that, which is uh, it's a very effective way of defending. Um, if uh, if you guys want, just tell me in the comments below if you want me to do that, because um, it does work very well, uh, especially with uh, some of the players in this top five. So yeah, Boateng, definitely uh, recommend that you go and pick him up, and uh, definitely recommend that you try out all these players in this top five, because they'll definitely stop you let letting in as many goals. And also maybe if you combine this with my top five goalkeepers video, I'll leave a link in the description to that. Uh, be sure to go and check it out. There are some players in this uh, top five who will uh, definitely link up with um, players in that top five, and then you can make a very, very solid defence by doing that. I think there are, there are quite a lot of players um, in that top five who actually play for the same teams uh, as these players here, so um, I definitely recommend you go check that out so you can build yourself a really solid defence and stop conceding goals. So thanks for watching guys, this is the end of the video, hope you enjoyed, if you did and you could hit that like button that would be awesome, because we did hit the, the like target on last video, we got um, more likes than we've had on any other videos which is really cool, thanks for that. Um, we've been getting lots more likes, lots more views recently, my channel's really growing so uh, thanks a lot for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.